Hello everyone, welcome back to my third video on the series How to Live an Organized Life. This week I decided that I wanted to tackle phone organization and how to declutter iPhones or phones in general effectively. So today I have tips for you guys that help me keep my phone organized and not all over the place. Keep watching. Alright, so one of the first tips I have for you guys is changing your wallpaper for your home screen. Not your lock screen, but your home screen. On my phone, I have my apps color coordinated, so having a background that's just a random picture kind of looks a little jumbled. So what I like to go and do is get something that is like a solid color or something that's not too busy for my home screen. Personally, I like to go and get like black or white background. It just looks so much neater and it's not all jumbled. In my phone, um, I have it color coordinated in my apps because I don't know, I just like color coordinating things. As you can see, my closet, my phone. This just helps my brain not be all jumbled around. So the second thing that I find really important when you're trying to declutter your phone is getting rid of unnecessary apps. Do you ever just like go through your apps and realize that like you don't need half of them? Yeah, me too. So I always go and download things and I forget I downloaded them or like I have things from a while ago that I don't even use. So honestly, if you're trying to declutter your phone, try your best to just go through and just see what you really don't need. Because that will help you with your storage as well as just decluttering unwanted apps on your phone. So the third tip for you is tackling the low storage, no storage notification. It's so annoying. If you're like me and you film and photograph every single moment of your life, actually that's a force, but I have a lot of photos and videos in my phone, so getting that no storage notification in the middle of filming something really cool or taking a photo of something, it's very, very annoying. I have like three little tips that I use to um, deal with this no storage. Honestly, the first thing I think you should do when trying to free some space is see what is taking up the most space in your phone. So when I go on my phone um, and see what's taking the most space in my phone. On my phone, photos take up the most space. Um, and then I have messages, my cloud drive, my voice memos because I always record stuff, my Instagram. So seeing if you need any of these things or if you can delete any unnecessary things. So a tip that I have for not having enough photo space is using Google Photos. If you have a Google account, I really, really recommend using Google Photos. I've been using it since like fourth grade and it's been like a lifesaver. Like I have all my memories in Google Photos. When you download it on your phone, it automatically uploads all of your pictures and it enables you to have a lot more space on your phone. So another way that Apple created for you to have space in your phone is to offload your apps. Personally, I don't like to do this because when you offload your apps, it may take a second for it to load again for it to actually open, but it does save you some space on your phone. So if you want to try it because you never did before, you can. If it doesn't work for you, let me know if it does, whatever. Also, another thing that Apple does is iCloud Photos. So it stores all your photos in iCloud. So if you don't want to use Google Photos, you can use iCloud. Personally, I don't like this either because when you go and try to click on those photos or save them or whatever, it takes forever to load. So I don't know. Um, it's personal choice. So also you can click on the individual apps that are taking a lot of space in your phone, like messages for example, and it shows you your largest attachments that you have. So um, you can delete some of them if they're unnecessary or all of them, personal choice. I recommend you going through all your applications on your phone storage and clicking on them individually and seeing what you can delete. So another tip that I have for you guys is unsubscribing to emails. Some people don't really use your email, but I like live by my email and like check it every second of the day. An app that I have that can really help you um, with the unsubscribing is called unroll.me. It helps you point out certain subscriptions and asking you if you want to unsubscribe to them because they just keep sending you things and sometimes, sometimes I just have subscribed to a bunch of random things, but I really don't really want their um, newsletters or whatever. So the last tip I have for you guys is cleaning out your widget page. When you swipe to the right on your iPhone, um, you can actually edit what you have on this page. Um, so you can put whatever you want, and you can eliminate whatever you want, and this could be really helpful if you just want to clear everything out. But it also can, you can have like the weather on there and it tells you what the weather is or it can have your calendars and what's your events that are up in your calendar. 
So I feel like that's really useful if you want to edit that page. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips help you. And if you've tried these before, let me know how they work down below. If you have any other storage tips for iPhones, comment down below. I love to learn something new um, that I can probably find useful on my phone. Also, if there's any other videos you would like to see before the month of January is over, make sure you comment down below or contact me on any of my social medias in the description box. Also, if there's a certain series you would like to see in February, let me know because it's coming up soon. Go up here. Bye loves. Hello everyone. <clears throat> oh. Oh, this light is hitting just right. Oh my god. Or would get page. Would, would get? Widget. Widget page.